Alrighty, here we go. I'm making some uh, Aztec chicken, and so what you want to do and focus on when you're doing such a thing is, of course, to use herbs that grow in Middle America, but more importantly is to worry about getting every ridiculous flavor represented uh, that are commonly known to the taste bud. And so if you take a look here, we have it all represented pretty good. Uh, you have epizote herb and paprika and you can see all the rest of it. You got the different, you got your sweet, you got wine, you got your two sours, a little bit of hot cayenne pepper. Yips. Mysterious herb, I don't know what it is. Blue cornmeal, that's what that says. And uh, Parmesan cheese. Here's all the spices in the bowl. Here's the bag. And over here we have... These are what I'm going to put on to the chicken as it cooks. Okay, good enough. Yeah. And we're going to do it, of course, grill, grill them over the fire. What I'm doing here is I'm pre-marinating them in some of the batter that you would wrap around it. So like I'll put more probably cornmeal on it later as I'm cooking it with the um, avocado oil. But I want to get some of the corn flavor infused with the herbs into it a few hours early. Ah, so that's good what point. I'm doing. So I've got it all pretty much mixed in here. I just got to pour that and the wine in here. So I'll do that now, just for dramatic effect. Like, you know, get some good amount of wine in there. You don't want to make it too liquidy, but you want to get a good amount of wine. Some good splish splashes. And then uh, I'll mix this up. So it looked good dramatically, but you probably want a little better mix before you throw it in there, you know? It just makes sense. It's just good business, good business ethics. Oh yeah, totally. That's relevant. Yes, economy, um, finances. Um, oh, also remember that um, Liberty Mutual can save you uh, so something. Well, better. Uh, hey, let's put it this way: Liberty Mutual is fresher cancer than Geico. So like. Yeah, that's stagnant old farts comparison to new farts. Cause like, think about it. Liberty Mutual, so long as they stay on their message of stupid Liberty, 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 whatever theme. But Geico's tried to take over every theme and use every stock footage. It's terrible. Just random people. Let's not turn anything else into that. Alright, here we go. I'm dumping it in. The world's gonna fundamentally change. I think what I'll do is I'll save a little bit of this to, to go on with the... About two-thirds I'll put in there, and the rest of the third I'll use with the cornmeal later as I cook it. To get that shell, you know, that thick, juicy shell. Yeah. Now we'll just uh, close this up and mix it around. Store it away for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Juicy, juicy. And don't worry. The juice that's in this bag with all of this, I'll pour it on the chicken as it cooks, and then I'll bread it up. Oh, you know, just the way to my heart, through my arteries. Yep. And it's good for him. I'm like, if people eat nothing but, like, chicken wings instead of chicken, uh, like, other parts... Of the bird, does that mean that like they get too much like nutrition into their chicken little arms instead of the rest of them? I have just no idea. One part of an animal. I feel like animals are bacteria, so you kind of eat any part of them, and you get like more animals. They're like budding. Yeah. Like cats want to be petted, but once you start petting them too much, they're like, whoa, stop stealing all my pollen. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like a they're like a nasty flower that smells like cat. Yeah, doesn't that look like a good Aztec? You know. Chicken yeah, it does. Mix. Yeah, it looks. It has to look right. Remember that the colors are important. 
it means something. Especially for this type of cooking, I guess. Uh, you're putting so many different flavors together. Basically, all of them that they'll, you know, classically identify as a flavor. More so we can do it like this, I guess. Sorry if it's not even. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> Hopefully this will just actually start up. <sighs> I might have to get some... Uh... Let's get the sacrifice underway. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's always a little grass burning to be expected when you first start off. Yeah, it's all hot. It's all on the down low and up and up and left to right, skedaddle, zip doodly, cross legs. Yeah, you see when you put it lengthways, most of them fit on there. Yep. Works for you. Yeah, I'll we'll push the fire more to this side since the wind blows so hard suddenly. I put the uh, cayenne chili pepper in the breading and not in the mix I marinated it in. You don't want to marinate it in the heat unless you want it extra hot. Remember that, boys and girls. Oh, yeah, here we go. Rubbing and scrubbing, blubbering and flubbering. Usually you use like a uh, oil. Oh yeah, yeah. You use uh, a brush. Yeah. Otherwise, you got problems. Pretty it just much. Leaks off.
Yeah, it's not going to work so well. Smokey, smokey. I'll get the fire built up more in a second. Get that heat up. We're settling more dry going. Not how you smoke it. How you cook the heat in the react outside. Then for the long, slow finish, we toss on the mega log. Look at this bad boy. This is our original what? Is this peach tree? I don't remember. It's got all of its sexy, you know, mold on yeah. it still. It's, it's those mixed things that I like, those, whatever those are called. Oh, they're nectarines? I guess, yeah. Chuck a nectarine? Yeah, nectarine wood. We'll wait till it cools down a little and toss this on there. Damn, I have to really kick cooking fiercely. Yeah, I think I gotta... Swap this around if I can. Spicy boy. Get on there, yeah. Spicy and delightsome. Yeah. What 
cooking these cooking school style by Captain Cook. You can never have enough avocado oil. Go. And now they cook for like another 10, 20 minutes. Ooh, crispy. Yeah, turn into crispy nice. barbecue boy. Crispy barbecue. My Vire Five right. Do we need more heat? Is this like know. cooking hot enough? Pretty hot. Should be a lot of heat shafted through these cinder blockies. I think so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would think so. That is something I would do. You dare to think? Hey, come on over there. The oh, it's all clinging. Clingy boy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's all, it's all mangled all sensuously. Oh. I mean, that looks tasty, doesn't it? Has it been cooked enough? Yeah. I mean, the skin has. Okay, so they need longer? Well, yeah, a little bit. The main fleshies in there. I just gotta get the heat up a little bit. So I'll use a little more wood. We're getting there. Oh yeah, that's just the right level of tangy heat. Oh yeah, I like it. Tasty. Another five minutes and they'll be done. Then we'll put potatoes in the coals. Look at that. See, it's all white and all tasty. Yeah. All done. Alright, let's slap them in our pan and uh, eat them with some uh, sauces and whatnot. Turns out I didn't need to add Aztec's Revenge hot sauce to it. That would have been too hot. <laughs> Just a little bit of cayenne pepper. I didn't even check which country the cayenne pepper was grown in. I actually like to know that type of thing. It's good to keep track of that kind of thing. I'd like to know, you know, about the actual pepper farms, like, that they come from. That, Like, you know, who actually knows where commercial stuff comes from? I want to know. Mm. Oh man, that smells like the rotisserie chicken at stores. Oh my god, Isn't that it? smells so nice. Ooh, baby. Mm. It's gonna taste a lot better than that. 
Next time I'll cook a little more at once. Put a few more on here. Just trying to clean it a little bit, but yeah, look at all that tasty fat on there. Whatever. Mmm, delicious chicken. Delicious. Little lettuce, little tomato, whatever. I mean, technically tomato, ketchup, and mustard. Bada bing, bada boom, a little avocado. And we got it going on.